you know, that Peter Sellers faked his own death. Are you mentally challenged, Joe Rogan? Ain't no way Peter Sellers faked his own gosh damn death. Don't you dare say there ain't no way he faked his gosh damn death. I happen to know for a fact he did. Him and that one guy planned a fake kidnapping and demanded George W. Bush pay him the sum of $100 million. You're making up lies about George Texas Bush. Excuse me, I mean George W. Texas Walker Ranger Bush. Read my lips, you take that back right now. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. I hate George W. Walker Texas Ranger Bush. Hurry on my wayward son, because there will be peace when you are done. What in the actual fuck are you just talking about? I did not participate in good old what's her name having a gun. I can think of it. And you go say I helped George Soros fake his own death. Damn it, George, you idiot. I wasn't talking about George Soros. I was talking about Peter Soros. He faked his own death and you helped him. He asked for a ransom of $100 million. Hey, you guys ever see the show Drunk History? Well, you want to do that? Except we're all high, so let's do high history. For those of you that don't know, Drunk History is a show where they get drunk and then proceed to make up a bunch of bullshit about history that isn't actually true. Well, some of it isn't true, but I think that's an excellent idea, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's do our history. We'll start with you, Joe Rogan, since you came up with the concept. First of all, will someone please shut up them fucking dogs? Second of all, high history, really, Joe, you couldn't be more, what do you call it, imaginative? Fine, let's do drunk history. Go ahead, Joe, take it away. All right, so here's some high history for you. Are you ready to okay, check this shit out? Abraham Lincoln, right, the 15th president of the United States of America. Well, one day he was sitting in his rocking chair. What you have to remember about Abraham Lincoln is Abraham. And the window with his dick in his hand said, pardon me, man, but I'm doing my duty. Bend over now and give me some booty. Oh, my God, Joe, are you okay? Sound like you had a stroke there at the end. But getting back to Abraham Lincoln, did you know Abraham Lincoln was 6'6 and weighed 280 pounds? He was the World Wrestling Federation champion. It's true, it's true. Abraham Lincoln was one hell of a wrestler, even better than Hulk Hogan. Oh, my God, dude, Hulk Hogan could wrestle Grizzly Bear. And Grizzly Bears are fucking tough. They will eat you within, like, the point one seconds. One time I was taking a shit in the woods and I saw this grizzly bear and he approached me and I did not say a word. I just still squatting there with a little bit of turd coming out. The bear stared at me down. I stared him down. He sniffed my poop and then ran away. True story. Probably from all that raw meat and bullshit that you'd and a bear would be deterred from that. I'm lucky for me though. My diet consists of nachos and pizza, but I will say this Hulk Hogan may be able to wrestle grizzly bear, but I could wrestle Hulk Hogan wrestling the grizzly bear. We're wrestling a tiger wrestling grizzly bear. Oh, it's true, it's true, it's damn true, red, my lips damn true. Donald, you couldn't wrestle your way out of what spaghetti noodles covered in cheese sauce. But getting back to Graham Lincoln, though, he was in fact our 15th president, and he was in fact a world wrestling champion. But did you gentlemen know that he also used to pick his nose and wipe it underneath the rocking chair? And let me tell you something that is some dank ass shit. Greetings, Earthlings, are you getting enough oxygen? Did you know that Abraham Lincoln also used to order chicken cheeseburgers? His cooks would cook them at least two chicken cheeseburgers every other night before he'd go to bed. Abraham Lincoln was a big old man, and even though he was skinny, he must have had one hell of a metabolism because he could put away the hot wings. Who, brother, let me tell you, it was something else. Space Ghost, my dude, you are something else. Speaking of something else, let's go on to something else. Did you know that George Washington used to wear powdered wig because he had herpes sores all over the top of his head? Donald, you idiot, those were not herpes sores, those were syphilis sores, say it, right, or pay the price. So it seems as though not only was Abraham Lincoln a good old man, but George Washington also jumped out that window with his dick in his hand. So pardon me, man, but I'm doing my duty, bent over now and give me some booty. Hey, you see what I did there? Did you know that there's a guy named Jeffrey Jones Washington? Sure, that's actually the descendant of George Washington. Like, it's his great, 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 great grandfather or something like that. And get this, the guy's mixed, but not recently mixed. Like, his mixture goes back several generations, indicating that Washington might have had several affairs with some of the slaves at the time. Don't think George Washington's slaves, I know they had servants and maids and stuff like that, but was there seriously that much slavery that it spread all the way to the White House? That is crazy. Wait a minute, what am I talking about? My great 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 grandfather was a slave. Nobody in my family were slave owners, but here's a little high history for you. Joe Biden did was slave owner. Joe Biden is like 112 and his dad was like 420, so he was earned during slavery. Also, can I go to the bathroom and also, also when I get back from the bathroom, I'm fixing some noodles, I'm getting hungry. You, you're noodle eating as Donald. I swear to God, you are the most newy motherfucker I've ever known in my whole entire life. But anyway, did you know that George Washington took a picture with his mouth closed because he didn't want to show his nasty ass wooden teeth? 
I actually wanted to say middle teeth, but they didn't have metal teeth back then. They only had wooden teeth. Also, back in the 1700s, it had little butt flaps in their pajamas so they could go poop anywhere they were, especially in the middle of the night. You didn't feel like getting up and down on the toilet and back to bed and on toilet back to bed and had to pull your entire coveralls off of those, what are the name of those pajamas, long johns or whatever. You didn't want to pull the entire thing off just to take a poop considering it was cold as fuck back in those days when the sizzlers first settled here. Did you know General George Patton invented chicken noodle soup in a can? If only he invented oyster crackers. As well, what a combination, a nice hot bowl of soup and oyster crackers. I'll tell you, I even eat oyster crackers and chili chili. It's the best food for winter. Donnie Capaccino invented the Capaccino machine, and he also thought to put that little swirl at the top of the thing inside your coffee. But the point is this guy named Mark Duncan was walking by his cappuccino, was trying out his machine, he was carrying in some donuts for cappuccino, the snack on, and then he tripped over a loose wire, and donuts went flying across the room and plop right into the cups of cappuccino that Mr. Cappuccino was working on at the time. And that's what started Dunkin' Donuts. I would love to have one of them Dunkin' Donuts right now. I like the pink frosted sprinkled Dunkin' Donuts, and also I believe that's the same one that Homer Simpson eats in the, the TV series The Simpsons. Do you know the real reason Christopher Columbus discovered the America? It's because Christopher Columbus wanted the brain cappuccino machines to the mainland. And by the way, the, 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 the guy's name you were talking about is Sir Joe Duncan III. He actually used to be a wrestler called Duncan the Destroyer, and he wrestled against Abraham Lincoln before Abraham. And Lincoln became our 15th president of the United States of America. Whatever happened to the Muffin Man? Oh, are we still talking about drunk history? Oh, it circles back to Abraham Lincoln now. Well, then let me just say that Abraham Lincoln met Christopher Columbus when he was just a little bitty kid. At the age of three years old, you see, he went into a time machine and went back to 1492 just before Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue. And also speaking of blue, he went in the time machine and met little boy blue. Can any of you other guys say that? No. Let's see if Batman could say that more high and mighty himself thinks. He's a big shot. Well, I'd like to know just who the heck he thinks he is anyway. He's not as big and strong like me, Space Ghost. Man, that one answer went off the rails. Where the heck does the Muffin Man tie into all of this? Oh, well, anyway, what we're talking about, Crest Toothpaste, was invented by a doctor in Chicago in 19 it when he discovered the new way to clean teeth. Besides baking soda, he would have some flavor to it, almost like he took some candy canes and crushed them up into this paste that he made with baking soda and God knows what. But anyway, that's how Crest Toothpaste was invented. Now can we play some Super Mario Bros. Do I want to jump on some guys and then throw those guys on top of the other guys and then jump on their heads so I can float all the way up to the next level so I can go through the door instead of starting at the bottom and working my way to the top. You could do that with the princess. You know, there's a secret. I know how. Everybody knows the trick Donald. As the princess, you have to shoot it down until you were flashing white. And that's how you charge your super jump. And then you could jump like really high. Thanks for that useless information, Mr. 9-11, but I think everybody already knows that. Also, did you know that Abraham Lincoln was a vampire hunter? Yes, it's true. It's true. And between being a lawyer and president, he served nine years as a vampire hunter until they freed the slaves, of course, and then Blade took over. But before that time, Abraham Lincoln was one of the best damn vampire hunters ever in history. Donald Trump, what the hell are you talking about? Boy, I wish my girlfriend would get back on speed. She was really good when she was on speed. We did all kinds of crazy shit. Maybe I could get her to get on the ecstasy. No, you're on ecstasy. You're extra horny. It's just something that happens. It stimulates the neurons in the brain to fire off a spark and sparkle in the next. And you know, you got dopamine going through your brain, sitting off electronic impulses that tells you that the sex is just 20 times better and that you want it even more. How the fuck do you guys think Austin Powers got his mojo back? True history, true story. Boy, that really did go off the rails fast. Speaking of going off the rails, I think we should end this video while it's off the rails. That was a fun game of drunk history, though, guys. I really enjoyed it, and I really enjoyed my time spent with you, Donald Trump, and you, Joe Rogan. With that being said, I'll let you, Donald Trump, take us out. Well, I got to tell you guys, it was really tremendous. I really tremendous show. Trust me, Red, my lips are really tremendous show. But we got to go. But before we do go, don't forget to subscribe to the Hebrew channel for more awesome shit. And also, before I go, I'd like to thank the 1,000 subs as our channel has reached 1,000 subs today. I could not thank you people enough. You're a tremendous bunch. And we are really excited. And I mean really excited to have you sub to the channel. Thank you sincerely, Donald Trump. And let's keep them subs going. And God bless America. Good night, everybody. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. What are we doing today? Hey, wait a minute, guys. Okay, well, gosh damn it, I take a nap for one little minute, and next thing I know, I miss an entire show. Oh boy.
Well, this on going me some chocolate chocolate chip ice cream. Jill, where do we keep the ice cream? I say, I say, I say, I say. Do, 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 boy. That's all, folks.